A live look now at NASA's Artemis rocket. We are less than two hours away before the launch window officially opens for it to head up into space. After two failed attempts at a blast off, will the third time be the charm? And will tonight's issue cause another scrap? Let's go now to CBS 4's Gabriela Arzola. She's live at Cape Canaveral and tonight waiting for that final go from NASA and the team. Gabby, what's it like over there? Elliot, Lauren, I have to say that this place is electric, but I gotta say as well, it has been an emotional roller coaster with all these ups and downs. But take a look at this massive rocket. So the NASA Exploration Ground Systems Twitter says there was a liquid hydrogen leak on one of the launch pads. Now we just got word that it was repaired a couple minutes ago, but they're testing it to see if it worked. Now the NASA Twitter said this is just a small issue. Of course, we've seen in the past that there has never been a smooth launch launch from beginning to end. This spacecraft is 32 stories tall and it took $4 billion to build. This would be the most powerful operational rocket in the world if it takes off without a hitch. Now there will be no astronauts on board. It will be empty. The goal today is to just make sure that this spacecraft, as big as it powerful it is, is that it will work. The Artemis's mission is to put astronauts back on the moon and eventually get them to Mars. But despite the setbacks today, it isn't bringing anyone down. Folks have been sitting around to wait for the launch as early as 5 a.m. They've brought blankets, tents, grills. It's like we're camping out here. I've met people from Connecticut, Ohio, even the Never Netherlands. Folks from all over the world are here in Titusville to witness this historic takeoff. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We were just talking about this. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I've been here eight years and I've never been to one and I hear this is the best one to be at. So I cannot wait. I'm not going to miss it. There's nothing like the first one. I'm not going to let it go by. So it, it's, it's a cool thing. It's something cool. Brings everybody together. Mm, certainly bringing everyone together. But you know, I can't leave you without a fun fact. So it's called the Artemis because in Greek mythology, Artemis is actually the twin sister of Apollo. Of course, a nod to Apollo 11, which was, of course, the first astronaut, uh, the first uh, spacecraft to put astronauts on the moon. So now Artemis is set to launch at around 104 this morning. Fingers crossed if it works. Guys. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Space very cool travel time. trivia oh. from Gabby Arzola. Gabby knows it all. It's going to be a long night, so drink some coffee, and <laughs> we look forward to your reports in the morning on CBS4 This Morning. Thanks, Gabby.